Hello guys and welcome back again in this cool requested video which is the TB48DE engine from Nissan or Nissan uh, this is a cool Japanese engine used mainly in the Nissan Patrol it started life in the 1987 uh, under the name TB42 it was a it was it has the bore and stroke similar 96 millimeter for both of them and it has a do it was it it used to have a two barrel carburetor but they with a pawn type distributor right but in 1992 they changed it on, under the name TB42E so they add this E so they made it with elect electronic fuel injection and an overhead valve system or uh, overhead valve intake system or an overhead valve recall head and valve train yes and in 1997, they produced the TB45, which has a bigger bore, but the stroke remained the same. And it was available uh, with. Uh, uh, you can go to the dealership and you can order your Nissan Patrol with carburetor or electronic injection. So yes, you can. You could. You could choose one of these two, and it it used to have 197 brake horsepower and 257 pound feet of torque which is good for its time it was mainly available in the Nissan Safari and the Nissan Patrol Y60 and Y61 also has also used to have an, an overhead valve valve train system in, in 2001 they introduced the TB48 and the TB48DE which is the most upgraded version of it uh, it has the it, it has a 99 and a half bore and 102 stroke it has, it has dual overhead camshaft, camshafts and uh, with, dual, with, with four valves per cylinder and uh, of course it has the fuel injection only it, uh, they cancelled the carburetor version of it and now it produces uh, 248 horse, brake horsepower and uh, how much to, uh, yes, and 310 pound feet of torque uh, as you can see here I already made the engine actually I was made I was recording the video but the stupid game it crashed so I had to cancel the video and uh, show you guys the finished product so as you can see here I started with inline 6 aluminium 99 and half 102 which is this the correct official size dual overhead cam with four valves cylinder aluminium of course no variable blood lift cast 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 plus 5 and uh, 9.5 to 1 the official compression ratio uh, 21 camshaft profile which is uh, good for daily driving and smooth running uh, variable valve timing yes it has as you can see here in the description in, in Wikipedia it says it has dual, dual overhead cam and valve timing control which means variable valve time yes it has time control for the way right so it's correct uh, let's see what else do we have here we have a natural aspirated here we have injection multi-point single standard regular 91 13 and a half 58 ignition timing and 5500 the rpm limit plus three here short cast headers this is the exhaust diameter this three-way three catalytic converter reverse flow straight through so everything is very very simple straightforward and you can have right now 248 horsepower and 310 pound feet now let's hear it again and see how does it how, how, how this cool engine sound because I already heard, heard it and I already made it but the game crashed so I'm gonna hear it again so enjoy it guys So as you can see here guys the engine sounds awesome and the engine is smooth and it's reliable and uh, it's really really working well as you can see the smoothness is high the reliability is high the fuel economy it's good for its size uh, because it's a 4.8 which has 21% which is really really 
well for it. The responsiveness is not really important because this is a an SUV engine or a or a utility a vehicle engine. So really, it doesn't really matter because the the goal here from this engine, the main goal of it is to make 300 pound, 310 pound feet of torque, not to make a ton of horsepower. So I already why why you remember why you wonder why are these here. Uh, why, are, why all these options here are locked? Because I made a cologne of the original uh, original version of it, the stock version. I made a cologne because I want to turbocharge it. I want to make it monstrosity. So to turbocharge this monster, the first thing we need to use is use 98 octane as a start. Replace the intake manifold with a... Before we replace it, let's lower the ignition timing a little bit. Yes and go to the turbocharger, add a turbocharger here as you can see ball bearing, medium size, performance wow look, humongous, what the hell, look at the pistons wow look at that, but oh, that's a big ass arrow mm, so plus 5, ah they disappeared right so plus 5 here, the engine is knocking of course even with the reduced everything Okay, oh my god, with 100 and still not really well. Performance intake. And let's use more fuel. Yes, it disappeared. Now the results. The results are speaking for themselves. We moved from 240 horsepower to 351 and we moved from 310 to 429 pound feet of torque. Now let's let's replace replace the internals because I hate them, I hate cast using cast uh, internals for turbocharging engines so forged steel which can make us go to up to 7200 7800 hmm. I'm not gonna use titanium because these this is only for uh, for racing engines and high performance hypercars or uh, supercars mm -hmm. so let's see I'm gonna move the quality up so I can gain more RPM so what else do we have to use? no there's really not, no point of using that right so and the exhaust yes that would make a huge difference right mm -hmm. So let's use a better exhaust system, a better fuel injection system, a better valve terrain system, better valve terrain with bigger camshaft. Because why using a stupid small camshaft? Why you can use a big ass one and make a ton, make ton of power. Right, 50, and let's increase the RPM. Let's see how. Many. I want to go to 7,000. Make the RPM go with me. Right, as you can see here, there's no point of lifting it up more than 60. What I'm gonna do here is now tune the turbocharger. Because not all turbochargers are just ready. Some of them are not ready. As you can see here, the turbine goes smaller and the power goes bigger. Yes, like that. The boost should go higher let's see how high we can go i'm going to keep it in the 98 octane range i don't want to exceed that wow look at that bigger bigger air bigger intercooler made a lot of difference mm -hmm. so let's hit the 600 horsepower guys i want to hit the 600 yes i have already gone in it it's awesome. Uh, come on. Yes, 612. 628. Wow, look at that babe over there. Let's use plus 10 components. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, 600 uh, feet of torque. Awesome. Now let's hear this monster. And let me first adjust the exhaust system. Right, 670. 
I'm gonna make it hit just hit 700, but let me hit it first. So as you see guys, the engine will sound really 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 well, I like this engine, I look, the, the exhaust is looking hideous, because it's it's huge, right, but I don't care, I care about horsepower, so uh, let's hit more and see if I can reach the 700 horsepower window, so if we change the configuration of the intake, yes, make it throttle per cylinder which makes the responsive higher, and let's see, I, I wish I can go to the direct injection, but now I'm gonna keep the engine stock. It has it has its own, its own stock, you know, uniform. I don't wanna have, to, I don't want to change the um, cylinder head to, so I can put in it those uh, direct injectors. I'm gonna keep it EFI, even if I have to inject more fuel in. Right, come on, we are close. Let's keep it at the 60 degrees here and let's try and play with the turbo. Yes, look at that. 722, 735, US baby, the power is going. Now make the turbine smaller. I don't want to make it huge. Let's see, I want to make it smaller here, bigger here. So you can... I don't want to kill everything. Right. No, it doesn't need it. Let's keep it in the 10. Alright, 15. Let's go mad. Let's go mad, my friend. All right, 7400. I don't want to go to 7500. Wow, look at that! Look at that, baby. 800 horsepower from this monster. Again, we started with 240 horsepower, and we ended with again 803. What a difference! The difference is. 480 horsepower. Wow, 480 horsepower. What did we change? We changed the internals, we changed the intake system, we changed we, we added a turbocharger, bigger exhaust system, we injected the we bet we put in better injectors with more fuel, uh, we play we added more timing and did we add more timing or did we or did we reduce the timing? I don't know. But yes we played with the timing. Uh, the the block and the cylinder head is still the same dual overhead cam. Yes, we changed the camshaft. We made, we made, we made them bigger, more uh, high performance uh, camshafts. What else did we change? Hmm. What else did we change? Yes, we used we used super high quality components. Yes. Also, we changed as I said, we changed the result. Okay, okay let's hear it now. Let's hear it and enjoy it.
the engine is sounding really really good I mean uh, what a big difference what a big difference in this engine imagine using this same engine in, in your in your same Nissan patrol car just take it out put these new parts in it stick it back in your same in your normal driving Nissan patrol I mean look at look at the reliability 91.3 it's I think it's more reliable than the stock engine now who can believe that if you use high quality components and more more expensive components I mean yes you, you will you have to spend a fortune to make this engine but look at the reliability I mean yes it will it will cost more fuel and you have to use 98 octane instead of 91 but look and this it, it and it, it's still smooth I mean I'm using look look at the camshaft it's, it's 61 so it's 40 but look at the smoothness the smoothness is just awesome and the responsiveness is higher than before because it has uh, individual throttles and it, wow it, this thing will make your patrol fly I mean yes if I want to go mad if I want to really really go mad with it I would change the the uh, fuel system to direct injection so I can gain more 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 fuel efficiency maybe drop it to 91 or maybe maybe 88 then I can uh, play with the turbo, put more boost in it, more than 15 pounds and put bigger turbo on it uh, then I can use the titanium internals with the bullet steel crank I mean I can go mad with it, I can make it exceed the 1000 horsepower easily but no, I'm gonna keep it as n not, not stock but nearly as stock I mean look, it still has the same size, the same uh, the same actually the same compression ratio I did not change the compression ratio it's still 9.5 to 1 I, I just changed the parts I did not change the, the characteristic the characteristic of this engine you know because this engine has its own characteristic has its own its own story its own looking which is this one this size uh, the if uh, the EFI and you know this this size and the looks I did not change that. I just added a turbo and a couple of other parts, new internals, and away you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. 803 horsepower. So, thank you so much for this cool request. Thank you so much for uh, for this cool. Uh, again, thank you so much for this cool request. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Uh, and uh, if you know, if you are not a subscriber, please con consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you have a, a cool request. Uh, like this one or maybe cooler uh, but, but of course you have to remember that the game should support it you cannot request something crazy and the game will not support it you, you can write in the comment section and I will, I, will, I will make it as soon as really possible thank you so much guys for watching I'm exhausted today because I already made a lot of videos I hope you guys enjoyed them I, I, if, you, if there is another request and I already forgot about it I'm gonna make it tomorrow because I'm exhausted I have to drink some tea because my I feel some sour in my throat from too much talking so thank you so much guys for watching i will see you in another video tomorrow bye bye